Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video, I'm going to be talking all about my Case Defy case. I've had this case for a couple of months, so I just wanted to share with you guys like what I think about it. I don't know, my review videos get a lot of love and attention, so I just wanted to make this one for you guys. I've gotten some questions about this case as well, so I hope this video helps you. If it does, make sure you subscribe and also turn on your post notifications and follow me on Instagram because it would mean the absolute world to me. So like I said, before this case is about two months old and I'm just gonna go through the pros and cons with you about it overall so you guys don't have to watch the entire video if you don't want to do I like the case and would I get it again if I had to go back yes I would I really like it um, it's pretty clean sleek I like the design and I just I don't know I was a little skeptical at the beginning but I really like it so if that's all you wanted to know then yes I do like the case but I will get into now a lot of like like the nitpicky things I notice about the case and want to share with you guys so you guys will know um, all of the little details. First off, um, the mirror part of this case gets a lot of fingerprints. If your hands are greasy from food or anything like uh, sunscreen, a lotion, it will get very, very greasy. It'll almost get kind of like slippery too. It feels like your screen. So yes, it leaves a lot of fingerprints and marks. Um, I don't know if you guys can really tell. Um, does it scratch? Yes, it does. Just like any clear surface like this, just like the front of your iPhone screen, it will scratch. Um, the scratches aren't crazy, but if you like study it, if that little, if those little hairline scratches and stuff really bother you, then I recommend you don't purchase this because it's just very, it's very noticeable and I can't focus on it too much or else it'll just bother me. So if you're worried about the mirror part of the case, then I uh, probably wouldn't get it because it does just leave a lot of fingerprints and scratches. But when you do like mirror selfies like this or if someone's seeing your phone from far away, it's not like they will come up to you and be like, let me like examine your iPhone case. And from afar, you can't tell any of that. So don't let that like deter you from the buying the case, but if it's gonna be a problem, don't get it. Next, I wanna talk about the border because I have gotten some scruffs. I don't know if you can kind of see like right there, but I dropped this not too long ago on like concrete and my phone is still intact. It's very protective, like that's one thing I will give this case defy case. It's very protective and it's not like the ultra protective case, I don't think, because it's like this really slim black case. It's not like one of the bulkier ones. So I don't think it's like the ultra protective, but it really did protect my phone when I dropped it. It like hit the floor kind of hard. So it is a very protective. Um, one thing I don't really like about the case though is that I don't know if you can kind of tell but the edges, the edges are a bit rounded and I really wish that it was just like flatter like because this phone, this is an iPhone 12 Pro. Yeah, it is the Pro. Okay, this is the iPhone 12 Pro. It's not the Max, it's like the normal size. And as you guys know, it's like a very, it's like very rectangular. Well, this has a slight curve. I don't know if you can kind of tell, but when I was watching videos, I wanted to see because they would show their phone like this and I'm like, okay, it looks flat here, but it's really not. And I don't know, I like to like go really in depth with these like videos because I want to show people like what I want to know about the product. Also too, I wanted to note the buttons are open, kind of. So they have like a layer, but as you guys can see, I'm gonna do my best to show you. You can kind of see the actual device, like these aren't closed. So if you were to get water in this, like it would get in the phone. Um, I don't know if you guys are seeing that. I will try to do a better job. Um, showing. Also, another thing that I don't like about this case, the bottom here, like I don't know if you guys can tell, look at this side versus this side. This side's border is a lot thinner than this side. And I think that's because this is the base of the phone. And then you have your speakers and your um, charging port here. The charging port and speaker thing, that's really deep. I don't know if you guys can notice and it's kind of gross, but there's like dust particles like stuck there. So I think how you would have to clean this if you don't like to take your case on and off again, you would need to like take a fine tooth like pick or like 
sewing needle and like scrape the inside out because this is really deep like I don't know why they made this part a lot thicker than this part just in general um, but I, you can kind of tell another thing too is when you put this on your phone it is really difficult to put on your phone that's why I haven't taken it off since because getting this thing on like it takes some force like a lot more force than I would think so just trying to get this on the phone is difficult in itself. Okay, so moving on to the more positive things about this case and why I like it. Well, I already mentioned that I really like the design. I like it when you're taking mirror selfies or pictures. I like the way it looks in the photo. It kind of gives that the vibe I like. It's very simple, clean. I actually really like this border around here. Um, when they first came out, I was not a fan of like the black and white around the camera, but I actually have grown to like it and I like the way it looks. I like the way that it's pretty tight around my phone. I like that it's protective and overall it's just a cute case to have. So I don't have anything to hate on it. I just wanted to tell you guys what I have noticed when purchasing this. Um, oh, by the way, if you haven't watched my first video on this case, like unboxing it, my first impression, it took a long, long time to get here. So I don't know if it's just because they do customization and like sometimes people get their phone cases customized. I didn't and it still took a long time. So I don't know if they like make the case when people order it or what, but I just wanna let you know that it took forever to get here. So if you're like waiting for a case, I would get like a cheap one off of Amazon maybe and then just wait for your phone case to arrive. Yeah, overall I really like it and I don't have anything to complain. I mean, I know the fabric, the fabric, the material that they used is to like protect the case, but I really wish it was like, more silicone-y because it would be like easier to like hold on to it and stuff and I just like the feeling of silicone a lot better than this like hard plastic stuff um but that's just like a nitpicky thing again again too I would like it to be like more rectangular not like have a slight curve but it's fine. Um, I hope I answered like a lot of your questions that you might have been wondering. If you do have any other questions, leave them in the comments down below because I would love to know. Oh, I did want to add something. The wear and tear on this is really good because I only have like one little scruff mark after I've like dropped it a lot. So A plus for like the durability. So if you guys have any other questions, let me know down below. I would love to hear your feedback. Do you have a case to five case? If so, which one did you get? Did you customize it? I'd like the uncustomized ones because I'm just like, I like the plainness of it. Um, but yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. Nothing could stop us. Sunsets, remember the colors. They were wrong. It was way more.